Morning, even afternoon, Tim and Tap Man too. We got a banger for you today, baby. What we got for you here in this video is the best memories that I've had while playing video games. Some of the most impactful single player things that I remember specifically. If you enjoy this, drop a like on it, share it with a friend. If you're not subbed here, hit the sub button as well. All right, be sure to tell somebody you love them. Okay, I'll catch you in the next one. What was I gonna say about what I tweeted? Oh, guys, do you realize that yesterday, bro? Do you guys realize that yesterday was 12 years since Modern Warfare 2 came out? And I tweeted 12 years ago, the best Call of Duty was made. And it's kind of interesting. People were like trying to, they were trying to combat me on that. You know what I mean? Like they were trying to be like, no, Black Ops 2. I, it really blows my mind because I, when I think about, when I think about the best Call of Duty game, I'm thinking about everything, right? And what I mean by everything, I'm thinking of my whole experience. So Modern Warfare 2, I think about obviously multiplayer in its own right was so fun right uh the intervention acr all these guns right uh, it did i mean the maps were perfect everything about it i loved modern warfare 2 multiplayer but not even just multiplayer the 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 single player campaign in modern warfare 2 i i i when that happened i was like seven i mean 12 years ago so i was what's 31 minus 12 20 no i was 19 no wait <clears throat> hey siri yes big boy was 31 minus 12. Come on, do the maths yourself, old man. Oops, you have gloopy gamer brain. Sorry. I don't know how old I was, bro. 19. Right? 19. 19. So, um, sorry. I'm not very good at math. Uh, dude. But anywho, so I was 19 years old when I played the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. Guys, when I say I have never to this day had a single player game mess me up more. And what I mean by mess up, I mean, I mean, hit me emo so emotionally that it ruined my day and has stuck with me even to this day of being 31 years old. That's what the end of Modern Warfare 2 did to me. It did. It read, bro. I have never like, I mean, talk about learning. Talk about learning betrayal. You know what I mean? I, I could not wrap I, after that happened i was sitting there at the end screen and i was just like what i could like i couldn't i could not compute my brain would not let me understand what happened it was like the hardest thing for me to understand hang on i alexis here hang on okay we're gonna keep talking about modern warfare 2 campaign but alexis said can chat tell me if these are worth anything and it's pokemon cards are these the packs that i bought the other day did you open them all are you serious chat is this worth anything price check anyone it's one in a billion stop focusing on my head bro what the frick camera uh 526 honey like five bucks okay five bucks i think that one's gonna be worth more than this one if i had to guess what about this one guys another like five bucks someone, someone said three dollars <laughs> like three to five so you gotta you got oh seven bucks honey we can retire back to modern warfare 2 dude sorry i i had to do that with y'all um back to modern warfare 2 i have never in my life had a i've never had a campaign in a video game mess me up more than the end of modern warfare 2. it wasn't just it wasn't just like it wasn't just like man that's the end of the game it was like it ruined my year it ruined my year it really did i and to this day at 31 years old that moment is still ingrained in my head and what i mean by that is i vividly remember where i beat it i was sitting on my bed in my bedroom and i would the, the tv i had was like a a 30 or 35 inch box tv and it was gray and it was in the corner of my room and i dude i can picture everything I can literally like I, like it was yesterday and that's 12 years ago and I can remember everything that happened.
You got Shepard coming out of the out of the thing. You got the D. What is it? The DSR. You got the DSR. Yes, sir. We got it, sir. Good. That's one less loose end. Shoots me and then right into Ghost's head, dude. I mean, holy frick. You know what I mean? You know, I watched it yesterday. I watched the end of it yesterday. You know what the most heartbreaking part of that whole thing was? And I didn't, it really didn't hit me until later on. I, guys, no way we're saying spoilers on a 12-year-old game. There's no way. There's no way. No way we're saying, Tim, it's not the ending. Don't care. That's the moment that, that's the moment that stuck out to me. Don't care if it's not the ending. That's the moment that stuck out. Then on top of that, there's a second moment in video game history I can think of that I'm going to talk about in a second as well. Some of you might guess what I'm going to say. Shepard, uh, that's one less loose end, shoots you in the stomach and then ghost in the head, right? Hardest, dude, the part that really is hard for me to watch now is when they toss you in the, in the you know, they toss you into the, the hole and you're, you flop around and then they toss ghost in, right? And, you know, the, the cigar flick and all that, right? The part, I don't know if you guys watched it recently, bro, but I really did notice it yesterday. The part that is almost heartbreaking is Price on the radio trying to get a hold of Ghost and you. He, do you guys, have, did you guys go, if you go rewatch it, bro, he is like, don't trust Shepard, don't trust Shepard. Like, dude, that, and I'm like, bro, dude like it's too late price it's too late dude we're dead in a ditch but it's like if you go rewatch it bro i'm telling you it, like he the, like price is on the radio and he's like ghost don't trust shepherd don't trust him and i mean it's too late heartbreaking man and side note dude nice comps price i mean goodness gracious how how about a little urgency the frick man god so that hands down for me i think is the moment in video game history that really sticks out to me i will completely admit there is a very close second do any of you know what i'm gonna say there is a there's two there's two real video game moments that i played single player through that i remember just being messed up when it happened one was shepherd shooting you roach and then ghost what's two I, I played Last of Us, didn't happen to me there. Maybe it's because I was a bit older when I played Last of Us, to be fair. This is when I was younger still, so like a little bit younger. Some of you got it. Some of you got what I'm gonna say. Gears of War 3 and Dom's death. Very close second to the Modern Warfare 2 moment. Like, like really, like I, cr I cried. What's really interesting is I cried when Dom died. I did. I shed tears. I was. I, I. I don't know what year that game came out. I can't fully remember. I think I was in. I think I was late high school, early college. I cried. I did. I shed a tear when Dom died. I did. And I like. There was something about that scene that literally made me cry. It did. And what's interesting is I didn't cry in Modern Warfare 2. I didn't cry when that happened. But it really stuck out to me more because of the betrayal. I think. I don't know what it is, but. I, when Dom, if you guys are saying spoilers, dude, I, I suck my ass. Gears 3 is when Dom died, it, but it wasn't the thing. I think the reason I cried with Dom and not with Shepard and Roach and Ghost, I think the reason I cried with Dom, and I think I can pinpoint it, is because he sacrificed himself for us. Like us, meaning the other gears obviously i was i was off my rocker bro i was crying i was crying i was crying real tears during that scene i was i was so upset and the, the how how he did it just like it was heartbreaking bro it was man man a side note by the way i know i don't stream or play gears of war just for the record but growing up i loved gears and honest to god gears Gears one, two, and three, I, homie, I, some of my favorite, also some of my favorite gaming memories. Those first three gears were unreal for campaign and for multiplayer. I, I loved it. I, I know I don't stream gears at all. I don't even know if they're, I don't know. I don't know what happened to gears to be completely honest with you, but those first three, man, I vividly remember 
playing each of them and loving gears bro i did i i don't play it a ton i know i don't i i've literally never played it on stream but gears is a is a top video game for me when i think about growing up like when i was a bit younger playing video games because uh, gears i mean when did gears of war come out the original gears came out 06 i was 16 years old and then gears 3 i mean gears 3 came out 2011 which is when i was 21 so i was like 16 to 21 a long time ago too man holy frick <laughs> oh man those hands down are the two video game single player memories that stick out with me so heavy bro i can picture them both like it was yesterday it's crazy